In 2019, Luminate Magic introduced Second Sight, the smallest, fastest, most user configurable RFID system. Today, I'm very pleased to announce that we're releasing Second Sight version 2. Second Sight version 2 is 35% smaller than its predecessor, making it easier to palm or conceal in a whole myriad of locations. So Second Sight can be hidden underneath your wrist, wristband, could be under a close-up mat, underneath a wooden table, or inside of a wooden chest. It's such a tiny RFID reader. So if you're not familiar with Second Sight, what Second Sight does is we manufacture playing cards with an inbuilt NFC tag. So when this playing card approaches, it's scanned by Second Sight, then transmitted both to Notifier and to the Unify app. And also now the glasses. So you actually get the message being played by audio message on the Unify glasses, or if you've got a secret earpiece. But it's not just playing cards. So you can gaff virtually any object that you so desire. So there's um, a gaffed object here where I've taken a picture of Brad Pitt, and I scan Brad Pitt, pops up with the image, also goes to Apple Watch, also available on Android, and also transmits to Notifier. Now all of those various RFID inputs can then feed into various revelation systems. So obviously it'll go as to an earpiece, so it'll say it's Brad Pitt and you'll hear that. But it can also be sent to thermal printers, it can be sent to Flitch to do image rendering or prevision to render a video. So you've got a whole multitude of various functions or revelations that you can do with Second Sight. But I won't focus on the functionality of Second Sight today. I'll just talk about what the differences are between Second Sight version 1 and Second Sight version 2. So as you mentioned, it's 35% smaller, but we've tried to focus on all aspects of Second Sight. The original Second Sight was shipped out with an RFID cards using a protocol called ISO 144443A. Now, ISO 14443A, that would have an RFID read range. So this is the distance from Second Sight to the card of around about 92 mil. So as soon as you got these two units within 92 mil, that's when it would read. If I read the second sight, which is connected. There we go. With second sight version two, we're adding support for a protocol called ISO 15693. Now with ISO 15693, that increases our read range from 90 mil up to 125 mil. So that may seem like a small amount of range, but it's ideal now because now the, the playing card can be in the spectator's hands and you can get a, you can obtain an RFID read directly without having to get that close to the spectator. We'll also focus on trying to improve the radio transmission range from second sight to notifier. So the original second sight would go between about three to four meters. It would transmit from second sight to notifier, which was adequate for most close-up performances. But with a number of clients performing larger scale, or larger stage performances, we've improved this range now so we get between 10 to 15 meters from second sight to through to notifier. We've also improved the range of the Bluetooth connection. So previously, we, again, we get three to four meters range from second sight going to the phone, we now get 10 to 15 meters range from Second Sight version 2 to the iPhone or to the newly released Android app. So that's the, the quick highlights. There's a number of new features that we've added into Second Sight. We've added the facility to have um, ultra high speed scanning mode. So this will scan cards as quickly as what we possibly can um, at the expense of battery life. So if you, if you turn Second Sight 2 onto uh, non-stop scanning, you'll probably get about four hours use out of the device. But we've got a low power mode. 
So in a low power mode, for example, if you had this mount, if you had second sight mounted in a wooden chest and you turn this to low power mode, which reduces the RFID read range, but you'll get about seven hours worth of battery life of a single charge with second sight. We've got duplicate card or duplicate RFID suppression. So now if you scan a playing card, you can select how long do you want to wait and reject subsequent reads. So if you've got second sight, for example, mounted inside of a paper bag. So we've seen customers take second sight and put it on the base, a false bottom of a plastic bag or false bottom of a, a paper bag. And spectators just throw their cards into the bag. So to avoid getting duplicate RFID reads when they shake the bag, shake the bag, then Second Sight 2 can be programmed to reject duplicate scans for a certain time period. Uh, Second Sight 2 can also transmit to a promistic thumper. So if you've got a PMR and you'd like to use that existing PMR with your existing promistic products, then Second Sight V2 will emulate the promistic output so you can use your PMR as an external vibrator and turn the vibrate function of Second Sight off. Um, I'll publish a more comprehensive list of all the features, but that is version Second Sight version 2, and it's shipping from the 1st of March. Thank you.